Hi, it's Steamy Ann, and today we're going to be sharing a collection of kind of odd, weird, absurd news stories in no particular order. I know we've been doing a lot of countdowns, but this is just stuff we found to be a little weird. Alright, so the first news story we have comes from Mexico City. Now, Friday on the 22nd, 150 ferrets were returned to their owner after a high-speed car chase um, where the bandits crashed their car into a tree and ran and fled the scene. Um, two of the suspects were apprehended and arrested, but a third one is still at large. The ferrets were all unharmed. We have a sweeter story coming out of Spokane, Washington, where a couple is raising money for their dream wedding by collecting cans. Currently, they have about 18,000 cans in their living room, and their end goal is 400,000 cans, which will give them about $3,800 for their wedding. Next, we're going to take you to Michigan, where things are getting a little bit crazier. Uh, two sisters got in a bit of a brawl, and one of them bit off her sister's nose. She says it's in self-defense, but she is also reported to have kicked a police officer while being arrested and threw a fit in the back seat of the police officer's car. Um, she is quoted as saying that she loves her sister and she's just trying to take care of her. In New Hampshire, there are two people sitting in jail currently on prostitution charges. This is one man, one woman. The story goes like this. The man says that he arranged to have sex with a, this woman and a third party, but although he paid for it, they didn't follow through. So he called the cops to report their not coming through with the deal, and now the two of them are sitting in jail and the third party is still in question. I don't know if you've ever been listening to loud music while you clean your house, maybe playing a little air guitar, because I know I have, but in Wisconsin, a man was doing just that, and neighbors called the cops after hearing loud music, John Denver, by the way, coming out of his apartment, and uh, cops came by and asked why he was playing music so loudly and why there was such a noise disturbance, and he replied, I'm rocking out. Apparently, in Wisconsin, that can earn you a $210 fine. On January 7th, in Uniontown, Pennsylvania, a man who earlier had a domestic dispute with his ex-girlfriend in which he was hit with a frying pan and a table leg, met her at a local Walmart where she had agreed to pay for his prescription fees. Well, he had a better idea and he grabbed $50 from her, jumped on one of the store's motorized scooters and made a break for it, still in his hospital gown. Well, they did catch him and he is currently in jail awaiting his trial. In Rogersville, Tennessee, we have a man who is very upset with his neighbor and his cows. Apparently his neighbor's cows have been coming onto his property and licking his house for about a month now. They've caused about $100 worth of damage, cracking a window and pulling down a gutter. And when he tried to collect homeowner's insurance on it, they said they do not cover acts of cow. In Murfreesboro, Tennessee, a man has been finally arrested after drunk dialing 911 47 times over the past year. I don't know about you, but when I'm drunk, I avoid cops and 911 like nobody's business. <laughs> Um, last time he called, they showed up on the scene responding to the emergency call and found him simply intoxicated in his home. When they asked why he had called 911, he just said, I was just drunk. Back in December in Portland, Maine, a maximum security prison had a little mix up about two inmates named Ismail. One was supposed to get out on bail, but they accidentally released the wrong one. Now, I haven't seen any follow-up stories on this, but at the time of print, the wrong Ismail was still out at large, being searched for, and considered highly dangerous. Whoops. <laughs> In Indianapolis, two suspects were apprehended for robbing a house. They were caught by surveillance cameras in the house, catching them in the act. The strange thing about this is while they were 
ransacking the house, one of them heard a crying baby and stopped what he was doing to warm up a bottle and feed him. It's a very tender soul. <laughs> In Export, Pennsylvania, a 63-year-old man was pulled over for operating a motor vehicle while intoxicated. His blood alcohol level was twice the state's legal limit. But the funny thing is, he was driving a tractor at the time, and when the police officer asked him where he was going, he said he was going to the bar to get some more beer, and he'd only been drinking a little bit. In South Korea, a 68-year-old woman finally passed the written exam for her driver's license. She barely passed with a 60, which is the lowest passing score you can get, and this was her 950th try. All she has to do now in order to get her license is pass the driving exam. In November of last year, a Brazilian bricklayer opened up the newspaper to discover that he was apparently dead and his funeral was being held, so he decided that he was not in fact dead and decided to show up. His friends and family were relieved to find him alive. Apparently, there was a car crash in which a man of similar builds, wearing similar clothes, in a similar car, was found beyond recognition, so they decided that was him and tried to bury him. <laughs> Fortunately, he is alive, but unfortunately, there was a man who did die. I don't know about you, but I'm a little bit excited about the zombie apocalypse and always looking for cool places to hide or what my escape routes might be. Cabela's, by the way, is the best place to go. But one man in Iowa City took things a little bit too far and may have jumped the gun a little bit. He was at a restaurant ordering food when he saw a man, accused him of being a zombie, punched him in the face. When that man tried to call the police on his cell phone, he punched him again breaking his nose, and then ran out the back door. Police took the man who was assaulted to the hospital, and I have seen no other reports about locating the assaulter. Have you ever heard of the Stanford Prison Experiment? Well, if you haven't, just to give you a little background, it was a study conducted to study how the different roles we are placed in can affect our attitudes towards each other. So, what do a countess 600 Virgins and Disneyland have in common. Besides a great time, join us in a future video and find out what exactly I'm talking about. <laughs> Thanks for joining me with this little group of weird news. Uh, feel free to comment, please rate my video, and of course, as always, subscribe. Thank you, you have a great day. In Export, Pennsylvania, they're doing things... <laughs>